Members of the Confraternity of Our Lady of Perpetual Help in the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja converged at St. John Paul II Parish, Abuja, to end a seven-day prayer project against insecurity in Nigeria. Some of the activities on the final day of the prayer project were adoration and a thousand Hail Mary and a Holy Mass. CTV's Delphine Asu reports. Hail Mary, full of praise, the Lord is with thee. The prayer project was the first of its kind and it had the theme, The Power of the Most High Will Overshadow You. In attendance were some priests and the members of the confraternity from various parishes in Abuja Ashtasis. On arrival at the papal ground, members registered their presence and lighted the votive candles, after which adoration commenced with the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. Another activity in finalizing the prayer project was praying a thousand Hail Mary, which was done in the church and with a procession within the premises. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. The prayer project continued with the Holy Mass, officiated by Reverend Father Solomon Uku. Father Uku, in his homily, called for relentless prayer, especially for our nation, and advised that our physical life should reflect our prayer life. All our intentions, all our petitions, all our requests, she carries to the Son. And our Lord does not, I need to understress this, our Lord does not reject the request of the mother. Because our Lord understands what it is to have a mother. The plans of the enemy, the mechanization of the devil and his agents, you know, Satan, they, they, they don't they sleep. They are working so hard to make sure that they bring about crisis, they bring about problems, kidnapping, banditry, and the terrible things we are seeing even in our country. But I know that by the prayers you have offered today, God our Father will hear us. And they will turn around in our country in the name of Jesus Christ. He also reminded the faithful that the Holy Rosary is a weapon and the Blessed Mother shall never be disregarded. When you have a mother, you know that your mother is precious, your mother is great, your mother is everything that you want to hold on to. And so children of God, I need to encourage you today, keep on praying as you pray for yourself, pray for your family, keep on praying for the church, pray for the ministers, pray for the world, pray especially for our country at this point. Because so much that is happening is not of God. That the Lord, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, will intervene and bring peace, succor, and tranquility into our land in the name of Jesus Christ. The Mass continued with consecration and offertory. The chaplain of the confraternity, Reverend Father Olise, expressed gratitude to those present, especially to the priests. The executive members of the confraternity led the thanksgiving procession to the altar of God. We are looking at insecurity here and there's nothing we can do. We can fight them, but we have somebody who can. And that's our Blessed Virgin Mary, who will always carry our problems to her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. So we decided to call to have an Archdiocesan affair to come and present this, all our problems about the kidnapping, murdering, raping, all the things the headsmen are doing in this country is what we are presenting to the Blessed Virgin Mary as our mother of perpetual help. That's why we are here. We have none other but our mother of perpetual help to run to because Jesus has given that fiat. So that is why we are here. I urge all of us to continue to pray Seek the face of God, because it is only God that can help us 
as it is now in Nigeria. I would want to advise Nigerians generally to be strong in their faith and not to imagine that the solution is going to come down from somewhere. The solution is in ourselves. And what do we do? Each person, wherever you are located, you try and do the correct thing. And you must work to preserve this country, Nigeria. Leadership cuts across. Leadership is not just in the villa. Leadership is in the home. Leadership is in the office. Leadership is everywhere. How far are you able to live a life that is sacrificial for Nigeria? South Africa would not be free today if there was no Mandela. And Mandela was in jail for 27 years. How many leaders in Nigeria are ready to be selfless and to be self-giving to redeem this nation? That is the challenge. So this prayer project is to break the jinx of bad leadership and um, also to help um, touch the hearts of our leaders more so to do the right things and also to do that which they have been elected to do. It's going to be an ongoing project because uh, we have just started it today by doing 1,000 Hail Mary. So, and we hope to be, the project is for the peace of Nigeria and then we hope that uh, Nigeria will experience peace. Ave Maria. Delphine Asu for CTV News.